since the stream, I've bought the penthouse. And originally, I did just kind of put that video in the playlist to kind of show how to do the money-making guide. But in this case, I want to go over it again. Just So when you start the game, you have to go to Abandoned House and do this. But once you unlock Cyclone Street, that's the better one. And the best one is Kurosawa House because you just have to go running around looking for stuff. And you're guaranteed two missions to be able to complete. You don't always get the Exorcism anymore as sometimes you get missions that require the camera or the candle or something. But... We're not going to bring items because we're trying not to lose money on this. We're not even bringing crucifixes in. So what we're going to do is change the difficulty, and this is going to be the most obnoxious part, is you have to do this every single time. Max out or minimize sanity pill, maximize hunt duration, minimize character movement speed, maximize ghost. Flashlight is optional. Cursed item count, keep that lowest. Crucifixes won't work, turn that on. Salt barrier won't work, turn that on. No sanity info on TV, turn that on. Lights won't work is optional. It'll bring you up to five and then looking at the ghosts while hunting kills you. We're hoping not to even get a hunt. We can turn that one on. The most this will go up to is about 6.6. .6. If you turn off, lights won't work, which means the overhead lights, by the way, not flashlights. You can bring it uh, down to 6.2 and be able to turn on lights. It's your call. If you're having a hard time seeing, uh, it might be easier to do that. But I'm going to do it without the lights. And again, uh, we're doing Kurosawa House because we're guaranteed two missions on this one. Alright, so once you've loaded in, you're just going to completely ignore this detect a ghost type. You're just going to pick a ghost, which I'm just going to do Iblis, I guess. And then we're going to do optional objectives. Find the katanas and put them back in their place. You always get this one. Solve the mystery of the paintings. You always get this one. If you get take a solid photo of the ghost, you pretty much have to reload. But if you do these real quick, you can still get money. Alright, and you'll see on that one, I got 103 experience and 2,700 cash just for doing these two objectives. Now, obnoxiously, you have to set these every single time you reload. And you have to revote on the map. This is the most tedious process. Alright, so here's what we can actually do. Find the katanas and put them back. Solve the mystery of the paintings. And then this one is perform ritual on the pentagram, which is literally just you stand there. So when I do this, I only equip the flashlight so that I can look around for the katanas. And I have two hands open to carry two of them. And don't mess with the Ouija board. And when you first get into the house, this is the first painting you need to keep note of. Uh, pay attention to like, which side is up. This one's kind of a pain in the back side, but I usually keep an eye on like this little symbol down here, like this heart-looking thing. You know, ordinarily, I make my way to this room because this is where the second painting is, which you just keep an eye on which side this white piece, this white chunk is on. Oh, there's a second one. And then I'll go upstairs to check that the last katana, it is up here. Okay. So I don't need to check the bathroom yet uh, until we get to the final phase. I would then go through here, and there's a painting on this back right, which is the Philosopher upside down. I'm pretty sure it's Diogenes, but I don't know. And then the guy in the mask or lady in the mask whichever is sideways then you put each of the katanas back and that's where we'll stand to do the pentagram i'll do that in a minute right, and then once you do these the doors open and then you can do the paintings which that one's already set that one needs to be upside down so we hit e to interact with it and then a and d to rotate it that one's correct, and then this one needs to be that way. And then you'll hear all that explode, and you'll see like a mask and an egg-looking thing. We'll also have to find a harp. We'll need three items, but first we need to do this pentagram. And it's literally just stand here until the tick thing stops. Which should be now. 
And now we gotta go look for an Oni mask. I think it's an egg and a harp looking thing. So there's the harp looking thing we gotta find. And those will automatically get teleported to that ritual spot, so. Well, or either that or they just don't count as an inventory item. I haven't been in the bathroom, so I'm checking there first. Yeah, nothing. This is the egg looking thing I mentioned. And then once we have that Oni mask, we just need to go back to the ritual area, that well. And it will likely be very loud, so be ready for a jump scare. So you walk up, press E, and the ghost bursts in flames in front of you. And the ghost literally can't do anything for, to you from this point forward. You could literally go play with the Ouija board if you wanted to and nothing would happen. I think the tarot cards could still kill you with the hangman, but I'm not entirely positive. We haven't play tested that, but yeah. The ghost cannot kill you. And you'll see we made $6,583 for doing the exorcism. That's all for this one. Happy haunting.